Today's uh, painting of the day video is about painting that I created in uh, 2020. It's uh, titled I don't know what to call you number three uh, and it is uh, one of six uh, paintings in the series. You can find this painting on my uh, gallery website with the other available artworks. What was the process of uh, creating this uh, portrait painting? When I started this uh, series of uh, portraits, I was uh, not sure in which direction I would go. The process of creating, uh, I don't know what to call you, uh, free painting was uh, complicated. I tend to finish a 12 by 9 inches uh, canvas uh, in one or two sessions, but not this time. I began uh, this series uh, at the beginning of uh, 2020 when the COVID-19 pandemic began to unleash its uh, fury. First I painted uh, a black uh, background uh, in oil that I let dry. After about uh, two weeks I applied marks of uh, white paint uh, using a cloth. It was a fun and uh, straightforward method of uh, painting that resulted in abstract paintings then I quite liked it. Then I left uh, them in uh, this stage for about uh, six months intending to come back to them again and paint the actual portraits in a green color uh, scheme. All six uh, paintings uh, resulted in one body of work presenting faces that I struggled to title. What was the inspiration for the portrait? I don't know what to call you, free. This uh, portrait painting of a uh, woman was inspired by photographs of a black American uh, female model. When you paste uh, this uh, picture um, of the painting into Google, uh, you should be able to uh, get results uh, featuring the pictures of the female in this uh, portrait. How did I come up with uh, the I don't know what to call you title? Deciding upon the title for uh, this uh, series of uh, portraits was not easy and uh, that was uh, for a few reasons. I was unsure of how I should title the paintings in this series because many things were going on in my head such as Black, like, Black Lives Matter movement, uh, the women's rights protests in Poland and the pandemic itself, each of which ended up turning my uh, life uh, upside down. I decided to leave uh, the paintings alone for about a month before coming back uh, to do final touches and decide on a title. Naming my work is essential to me as it helps me decide the meaning and uh, concept behind the artwork. But still, nothing was certain to me about the title for these uh, pieces. I didn't know which direction I wanted to go. I had the events in 2020 that occurred across the United States and the world in my mind, but I wanted to distance myself from them. So I decided to title this uh, paintings and the series I don't know what to call you. What is the meaning behind uh, the title? There is a general opinion that uh, states everything we put uh, faith into or believe that we can prove is highly feasible. Numerous uh, people, cultures and uh, situations uh, we are involved in ourselves uh, consider that uh, not having reason for something is an irrational belief. Nearly all our shared beliefs are either assumed or fit from understanding other ideas, religions and thoughts, each of which we may observe as being the reason for something. As a practice, uh, judgment, judgment has been overlooked or has never been consciously present in our thoughts or creativity. Very few of us uh, uh, ever ask, for instance, what reason there is to suppose the oil paint uh, we are about to use on a canvas will not turn out to be expired or poisonous. Yet, we feel that a perfect reason could be found when we are questioned, even if we are not ready to accept it as the truth. And in this dogma, we are usually justified. 
when I don't know my reasoning or reason that doesn't mean that I am not an, an enlightened enough to understand what I see or experience. It is almost as if I don't seem to accept the belief of what it is I claim not to know or understand. Saying that, I don't know what to call you, this painting means that I don't know precisely what I feel about the piece and where this emotion is coming from. What I don't know is if my beliefs and thoughts will be met with knowledge, approval or complete uh, distrust. In the case of uh, this, uh, of the painting title, not knowing means acknowledging that the entire message is uh, hidden in the portrait itself, which in turn presents its reasons. What would Socrates say about, I don't know what uh, to call you, uh, painting? Socrates always demanded a reason for the reason. I imagine that he would insist on explaining the painting and the title to the point where he cannot find any further reason and where it becomes relatively clear that no additional logic is even theoretically discoverable. With uh, most uh, problems in everyday life, such as uh, whether our oil paint is likely to be good or poisonous, it all starts with general acceptance of the daily routine. We tend to uh, come to some general uh, law or some situation of uh, widespread belief which seem obvious and cannot be assumed from anything more evident. There is a reason and a meaning in the title, but the question is if the intention to share it with the viewer is there. As for this painting and perhaps this series, there is no intention for explanation. Uh, as of today, this uh, painting is available for a purchase uh, in my gallery website. You can uh, check it out uh, yourself. Uh, this will complete uh, this uh, video um, uh, of uh, painting of the day. I'm going to make uh, more videos uh, for this uh, series. As I mentioned in my previous uh, videos, it takes uh, quite a bit of my time to prepare uh, reflection about uh, the painting so I'm going to continue doing this uh, series every week every Monday so please uh, check uh, with me on my YouTube uh, video every Monday um, that will be it for today this is it uh, the video is uh, over <laughs> so please like it and subscribe to this uh, uh, channel also share this video with anyone who might benefit uh, through watching um, this uh, video or through uh, uh, viewing it and uh, seeing what I have to say and reflect on it. So that will be it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.